Hello there, storytellers! My name is Michael, and here we are once again with a beautiful, amazing Skyrim Special Edition. Let us jump into it and keep on going. Last time, our majestic character, Elinorian, was on his way to Riverwood. He escaped Helgen, and uh, he got some advice from his... Um, partner in crime, Rayloff, to go to the nearby town of Riverwood, where his sister owns a lumber mill. And there should be able, uh, they should be able to help me. Help. It, 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 yeah. Him. Right. Um, I keep forgetting my own character's name, for God's sakes. Okay, so, we got uh, this. So, Rayloff suggested that I head the, to the nearby town of Riverwood. His sister owns a lumber mill there and should be able to help me. Now, quick note, I have installed the mod. It's called um, Unofficial Patch Special Edition. It is a mod. Let me just show you here really quick. Did it work? Yeah, it's working. Logging in. Yeah, this is Unofficial Skyrim Special Edition. A comprehens comprehensive bug fixing mod for the Elder Scrolls Skyrim. I installed it through the mod installment uh, method that is used in game, so that was really easy to do. And here we are. Most of the bugs must have been fixed. Okay, let us resume our traveling, our travels to Liverpool. Gather these mountain flowers, I'll use for potions later. So I ain't gonna use restoration too much. I'm gonna focus on illusion. It's a hunter. Okay, so I'm gonna go down here. an indicator it says Riverwood this way so this way we shall go all right down this road oh my god this is a steep slope how does how do carriages like go around that must be terrible all right if my microphone is set up correctly but we shall know You'll, you'll tell me, right? So the mage stone, obviously. Get the sign assigned to me by the gods. Alright. Goody. Let's keep moving. Okay, there is something about I like about, about Skyrim, it is the scenery. And with the new uh, visual effects, it does look amazing. Whoa. I heard something die. What died? I heard it from around oh, here. Okay, dead wolves. That's never a good sign. I don't see nobody around here. Okay, perhaps I should back off slowly. Right, and go away. <laughs> but I will return here, it seems like an interesting place. Alright. This is the road that leads to the Verwood. Very interesting. Oh, that must be the village. Look. Well, it's better than uh, than prison I was in. For the fact that I almost got my head chopped off, so... 
this little place is uh, quite comfortable. What? Now, mother. It was as big as the mountain and black as night. It, it flew right over the barrel. Dragons now, is it? Please, mother. If you keep on like this, everyone in town will think you're crazy. And I've got better things to do than listen to more of your fantasies. You'll see. It was a dragon. It'll kill us all, and then you'll believe me. Okay. Crazy old lady. Ain't every day we get visitors to Riverwood. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Actually, I was hoping that I can sell you stuff. I have a bunch of stuff need needing selling. I should have said want to use all of these things. No, 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 just five of them, sorry. Need the rest. After all, I need to wear something myself, so. A bear pelt. Uh, yeah, I th suppose you can have that. And the wolf pelts that I collected earlier. I don't really need them. What else? Yeah, that should be all. Thank you. Good day. Good day to you too, Kai Nord. Okay. What is it, woman? Spend drunk on the job again? Nord just come here. Raylo, what are you doing here? Ha! I'll be right down. So it appears we have a. Uh, I have arrived just as my friend here was uh, arriving as well. New to Riverwood? If you're looking for work, Rayla, go see Hod at the I mean, you I Do you really know Alfred Stormcloak? Hush. I'm gonna put the ropes on. No time for your games. Go and watch the south road. Feel as far more natural. See any imperial soldiers coming. Oh, Mama. I want to stay and talk with Uncle Rayla. Look at you. Almost a grown man. Won't be long before you'll be joining the fight yourself. That's right. Don't worry, Uncle Rayla. I won't let those soldiers sneak up on you. Now, Rayla, what's going on? Look pretty well done in. I can't remember when I last slept. Where to start? Well, the news you heard about Alfred was true. The Imperials ambushed us outside Darkwater Crossing. Like they knew exactly where we'd be. That was two days ago now. We stopped in Helgen this morning, and I thought it was all over. Had us lined up to the headsman's block and ready to start chopping. The cowards. They wouldn't dare give Ulfric a fair trial. Treason for fighting for your own people. All of Skyrim would have seen the truth then. But then, out of nowhere, a dragon attacked. You don't mean a real live. I can hardly believe it myself. And I was there. As strange as it sounds, we'd be dead if not for that dragon. In the confusion, we managed to slip away. Are we really the first to make it to Riverwood? Nobody else has come up the south road today, as far as I know. Good. Maybe we can lay up for a while. I hate to put your family in danger, Gerger, but... Nonsense. You and your friend are welcome to stay here as long as you need. Thank you, Let lady. me worry about the Imperials. Any friend of Raylov's is a friend of mine. Here's the key to the house. Stay as long as you like. If there is anything else you need, just let me know. Oh, well, you are very, very, very kind. Oh, I will need some money, so I'll have to borrow these. Uh, some need. Potions of healing, that would be useful. And just get everything you're offering. Thank you. There is something you could do for me. For all of us here. The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgruf in Whiterun to send whatever troops he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Thanks, sister. I knew we could count on you. I ought to get back to work before I'm missed, but... 
Did anyone else escape? Did Ulfric? Don't worry. I'm sure he made it out. It'll take more than a dragon to stop Ulfric Stormcloak. I'll let them into the house and, you know, show them where everything is. Hmm. Help them drink up our mead, you mean? Good luck, brother. I'll see you later. Don't worry about me. I know how to lay low. I'm glad to help any way I can. Well, thank you for all the I kindness. I told you my sister would help us out. Lucan over in the Riverwood Trade is the thieves bro. You must be one of those wizards from the college in Winterhold. No, I just we just met, woman. Oh, never mind, never mind. You've you've been kind to me. I should be kind to you as well. Even if you are a human. Okay, um well, uh, yeah, how, how can I get to, to White Run from here? Cross the river and then head north. You'll see White Run on its hill as you pass the falls. Thank you, and what can you tell me about the Jarl? Jarl Valgruf? I don't mean to be disrespectful as he's ruled White Run hold well for years, but he seems in over his head now. He's been trying to stay out of the war, but it can't last. He's going to have to pick a side. I'm afraid he's going to make the wrong choice. Why? Is he loyal to the Empire? I wouldn't say that. But he and Ulfric have been at odds for years, and I'm afraid Balgruf will end up siding with the Empire because of it. But it's hard to believe that even Balgruf would choose Elisif over Ulfric. Mm, so you... Sh who's, who's Elisif? Remind me. I suppose she's Jarl Elisif now. She married High King Turug just before Ulfric killed him. The Empire supports her claim to be High Queen. I don't really have anything against her. Not her fault that her husband Turug was bought and paid for by the Empire. But she's nothing but a puppet for the Empire now, with her husband Turug dead. Ulfric will make sure she never takes the throne as High Queen. Ulfric killed the High King? Some say murdered, but it was a lawful challenge in the old way. Ulfric called him out as a traitor to Skyrim and killed him in single combat. If Tori couldn't defend his throne, he had no business being High King. So there's no High King now? No, not until the Moot meets to choose another, and it won't meet until one side or the other wins the war. Don't worry though, Ulfric is our rightful High King. He'll drive out the Empire, and Skyrim will have peace at last. I strongly doubt that. Until next time. Until, uh, anyway, she said something about the general store, uh, that was robbed, hmm, well, at least we know where to come to sell stuff, which reminds me, I did say something about exploring a mine, didn't I? Alright, so, uh, I think it was this way. Oh, hello there. Calm, friendly. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy now, easy. I was just wondering what's what's in there. Come on, you, you can tell me. Like, it looks like a mine. Can I ask you if this is a mine? Dude, sir, sir, please. It's it's just a question. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Never trust a bandit. Okay, so I n we know now what's inside. It's a god dang it. What the hell are you? What was that? I know a vampire when I see it. It does look rather classy on me, doesn't it? I am going to, however, use my novice robes for now, because it ge regenerates my magic a better. Don't it? Yes, indeed. However, uh, did I get the boots as well? I'm going to use the vampire boots. Here we are, inside this mine. grab a torch I don't know how well this place is lighted down uh, below this level 
So I should get one of these. Alright. What is this? Looks like looks like a wire. Okay. Fair enough. Okay, someone is really interested in keeping this place secret. They are mining stuff in here. In order to probably sell it or make weapons and arm themselves. That guy is sleeping. Maybe I can sneak past him. Kill his fellow bandit over here. Careful, we wouldn't want this guy to kill us. It's in here somewhere. Oh, huh? no, 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 Violence, but these people are very much. Oh, great, more of them. Yeah. I don't want to die. Come on, take the sword without you. Do you know how flames and sparks feel together? I tell you how. Bad. Well, if, if, if I've come so, so far, why not go deeper? At least if they're bandits, they should have some treasure. And treasure is rather interesting to me. You die now. Thank you for the key. Here's someone working at some, uh, I think it's a blacksmith down deeper into the mine. I want to tread. We wouldn't want to attack him if it, can't, if it can be avoided. Does it have a bow somewhere in here? Don't I? Right, right. There, someone should be there, and there's an archer over there. Could get closer to this guy without him noticing me. I think there's someone right over there. That is now or never. What was that? You'll never find out. down. More to go. I would not have worked as a farmer agent. I don't know how to fire a bomb in case there are two of them. Should 
confirm. Didn't. Bloody hell. Drop down. Okay. Maybe they want to come down. Hopefully. Someone there? Yeah. They are leaving. bow superior to the long bow so it's good it's good and right now I'm more concentrated on surviving this place not necessarily hoarding massive amounts of well, but uh, if I can earn a dime out of this business, why not? After all, I need to live somehow. Right, here we are. So it appears that this cave had two exits. I see. They were probably planning to attack Riverwood. Yes, this cave is very well strategically put place for ambushes yeah it's, it's a great place gotta say it has value good thing I'm free at least I don't need to care about the tower more anymore probably forgotten but of me by now almost escaped them down in Citadel wouldn't have been for that Breton idiot. Would have gotten away with it. I guess uh, here it is. The Riverwood Trader. Let's talk to the man. One of us has to do something. I said no. No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. Oh, <clears throat> a customer. Sorry you had to hear that. No problem, my dear man. I heard you were uh, robbed. Well, I don't know what you overheard, but the Riverwood Trader is still open. Feel free to shop. Well, sure, if you don't mind. Take a look. Since you were robbed, I suppose I can help you out a bit. And sell you some stuff. So can sell it. Earn some more money. Also, I make a king profit, which is great. Namilot of Talos. Oh, the god of the humans, right? Yeah. Okay, the bees. That is actually everything I have for sale, if I am correct. Yes, I am correct. Okay, what do you have for books? Do you have any... Oh, hello there. So, whoa, more fresh. Nice, thank you. Uh, did something happen? I overheard your discussion and uh, also heard from... from uh, Vale of Sister that you were robbed. Uh, yeah, we, we did have a bit of a break in. We, we still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. Oh really? I could help you get that claw back. 
You could? I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. Now, if you're going to get those thieves, you should head to Bleak Falls Barrow, so northwest of town. Yes. So now you don't have to go, do you? Oh, really? Well, I think your new helper here needs a guide. Well, no, I... By the eight, fine. But only to the edge of town. Okay. She's gonna um, guide me to the edge of town. Not that it would be just we have to one go through town road. and across the bridge to get to Bleak Falls Barrow. You can see it from here, though. The mountain just over the buildings. Oh, that big Those mountain. Those must be mad hiding out there. Those old crypts are filled with nothing but traps, trolls, and who knows what else. Indeed. Well, lovely. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't think it was uh, such a complicated operation to get uh, get your, to get your um, belongings back oh I will do it don't don't, uh, don't fret I will help you out just don't 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 be so mad at me keep going yeah I'm coming I'm coming okay come on you set to the edge of town this is the the, the way this is like where, where I need to go this way oh shit it's that. Oh, leave him be. Right, actually, by the hell. I wonder why they only stole Lucan's golden claw. I mean, we have plenty of things in the shop that are worth just as much coin. Lucan found the claw about a year after he opened the store. He never quite explained where he got it. He's a tricky one. Probably some uh, rather. Not necessarily legal business, but uh, yeah, we'll get over that. Okay, I can find my way. Thank you very much. Wasting my time. So up that mountain. Oh boy, it's gonna be a long ride. <laughs> 